So the iOS 10 jailbreak is practically here. After you guys jailbreak, I wanted to show you guys what you can do now that you're on iOS 10. There's a lot of exciting things coming to surface and I wanted to share all of these new jailbreak tweaks with you. So obviously right now the jailbreak isn't completed, but once it is, these are the things you'll be able to almost immediately install and a ton more coming soon as soon as there's something stable. So first thing I do wanna go ahead and start off with is Anemone. So Anemone will allow you to go ahead and theme and it has just been updated for iOS 10 and these are just a couple of my themes oxygen and lotus so i just wanted to show you how fantastic it looks just to be able to change the icons something completely different i mean don't wait for apple to go ahead and update them do it yourself and it looks great sleek and bouncy gives you this really really neat effect when you go ahead and log into your phone open apps close them kind of brings things to life i really do like it very nice animation so icleaner pro right now for me for whatever reason it's not working very well some other tweak is in interfering with it, but it has been updated. It's in beta right now. It's like your device taking the biggest dump of its life. It'll clear out all the cache files, all of those things that are just messing with your phone, staying in the system. It'll clear and flush all of those dirty files out and you guys will save a ton of storage. Some people report up to six gigabytes immediately cleared after running the very first time. A couple really, really nice ones. So beginning with Cuttlefish, when you 3D touch on an icon, it'll blur the background to match the color of that icon and it actually works with like every single theme which is really really nice so i think it's a beautiful very simple little touch blur the background to the color of the icon. Now this matched with Evanesco. Basically you can set a certain timer. So when your device goes unused, it'll go ahead and blur very subtly the icons and you can choose how far that blur goes. Basically just a very, very nice little look when you don't touch your device for a few seconds. This one is a must apps manager. So you'll be able to manage all of your apps from in here. You can even back them up and restore that backup, save all of the data. This is also very useful in case you restore a lot and stuff like that. But you can also wipe the entire application, which is nice start fresh without having to reinstall it. So have total control over your applications. So you'll notice my control center is busy. There's a lot going on here and I'll explain and break it down what I've installed. So first off is Cream 2. So you know how iOS had introduced the colors on the control center toggles on the top row. Well, now you can actually change the colors of those and pretty much every button on the control center. So you do have some settings in Cream 2 here. You can choose the color of these individual buttons and it's nice to be able to customize such a little tiny thing. So over here is CC low power. It immediately adds a toggle to your device to go ahead and enable low power mode, something that should have been there since the beginning. Now CC settings would have been nice to have to be able to set your own toggles, but it doesn't support iOS 10 just yet. And right here is CC record. So it actually just adds a button to go ahead and begin recording your display. So right now my iPhone is being recorded and I can go ahead and pause it and it will go ahead and create a new file for me to view my screen recording. Really, really nice feature and it just plopped this file directly into my photo library just like that. It is the easiest way to record your screen. Super awesome. And of course, how can I forget Eclipse Beta 4 Alpha 3? So pretty much a full system-wide dark mode. Now, it's been rumored Apple will be adding iOS 10.3 dark mode or a theater mode, but why wait? You can do it now with a jailbreak. Well, once the stable version of the jailbreak is out, it basically adds a completely dark night mode to every application. Now, right now you can't select individual apps, but of course, once it's updated, you will be able to. Now, you guys can't see it, but I can feel it. Haptic 10 is installed on my phone, and basically what it does is it turns your iPhone 6S or even older iPhone into sort of an iPhone 7 haptic feedback device. So basically, you'll get more haptic feedback when locking and unlocking your device, uh, whatever you really want it. So it turns your regular vibration motor into more of one that feels like it's from the iPhone 7. Unfortunately, I cannot show you this one because I wasn't able to get it installed. I was having an issue with iFile, but you can now add iOS 10.2 emojis to your 10.1.1 device. So you no longer get those little blank question mark little icons when you can't understand an emoji. You can now do everything you could on 10.2 on an older firmware like 10.1.1. So you're not missing out on anything. Arguably one of the best reasons to jailbreak for me personally is the total control over Snapchat. So Phantom Light now supports the latest version of Snapchat on iOS 10. So you can directly upload to Snapchat from in here. You can save snaps without 
the other person ever knowing. Basically, you can replay it as many times as you want. You can go into incognito over here with this little switch. There's a ton you can do using Phantom Light. You can't spoof location at the moment, but support for that may come in the future. So supercharge your Snapchat experience. And man, it's good to be back. That is legacy slide to unlock. You now have your old slide to unlock method back on iOS 10. You can also set it so you can do just a click to unlock but it's good to be back. No handwritten message, check this out. So you will no longer get a little pop-up to go ahead and start writing or scribbling with the hand message when you go ahead and rotate your phone. You know how it is just like this. I don't have it installed at the moment, but if I did, I would not be getting this anymore. It just completely cancels that out in case you don't use it and like to type this way. A very subtle one, but status switcher basically allows you to have your status bar when you go ahead and double tap the home button to open up the app switcher, you will still have it up here. So it's no longer disappearing. Now that's pretty much what's new. I wanna share some upcoming tweaks that are being worked on that I can show you screenshots of I just don't have running on my device. But I just wanted to say a lot of old iOS 9 tweaks do work. You don't necessarily need to use a fully updated version, but of course it helps to wait. I'm right now using no slow animations. So that's why everything is opening and closing so fast. It still works just fine. And circle icons inside of settings do work just fine. So as you can see, it gives you that clean circle look. So pretty much a lot of older tweaks do work, just not very well for all of them, of course. And I wouldn't recommend just going and installing everything just to see what works and doesn't. And this right here is Platter. So it's sort of like a control center extension that allows you to get some extra cubes for your favorite apps and recently opened apps. Kind of like another app switcher in your control center. Now I'm not sure I need extra pages on my control center, so I don't think I'll be installing this one, but it's a nice concept. And this is the one I am waiting for. This is Horseshoe. It combines both of your control center pages in two one. So you can no longer have two that will combine your music controls all in one page, which is very, very nice. This was how it should have been in iOS 10 to begin with. And this is Noctis. So Noctis is more of a modernized version of Eclipse. It's a better night mode for iOS 10 that's upcoming. It's still in beta. So it actually turns all of your notifications darker and it's more of a gradient effect. It looks very, very beautiful. It's not just a flat color. And this is the control center, which currently uh, Eclipse doesn't do. So you would be able to get your control center in that dark mode as well. There'll be a couple settings for lighter or darker, but overall I'm most excited for this one, Noctis. So guys, that's just about it. Those are the jailbreak tweaks that have been updated for iOS 10. I cannot wait for a stable release. Trust me, I am following it. As soon as it's out, I will be releasing it to you guys. I'm just waiting uh, for a stable release. That's, that's what everyone is waiting for. So don't worry, you're not alone. It'll be out soon. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the jailbreak. Peace.